Welcome back to the upper level of the hub. We're going to talk about how you're going to access the food service facilities once we go into the dine-in period on campus. You have an entrance that's either near Old West on the east side of the building, or you can enter from Britton Plaza, which is the library side of the building. Both points are going to bring you to a decision where you're either going to go down the hall past Mathers Theater to Union Station. If you're going to the dining hall, this brings you to the point of the stairwell and you're going to move around through the queue towards the dining hall main entrance, which is located just around the corner down the hallway. All right, as we've come down the hallway towards the dining hall entrance, we're really close. We've added additional cues for your safety, for social distance, and to create comfort for those days when there's rain, snow, wind, or other temperatures that you're just not gonna enjoy standing in outside with longer lines. So the side rooms have been set up with uh, rope and T-stand cues to allow you to increase the number of people that are waiting. You're gonna enter through the door I just came through, progress through the queue, exit another door into the hallway, and you'll proceed into the entry of the dining hall. Now you've successfully navigated all of the queues through the hub and you're entering into the dining hall. Next thing you're gonna do is present your ID card to one of our door monitors using one of the trays here. You're just gonna lay your ID card there. The monitor is going to pick that up and swipe it through to access your meal, bring it back, and then you can move on your merry way after you've hit the hand sanitizer. You're gonna put that on your ID card, clean up your hands and enter into the queue lining towards the service area. All of our food is served by staff. You will have no self-service options, so anything that you need, just ask our team for assistance on condiments, beverages, anything that you're gonna want. We'll have the menus posted online once we've gone to the dine-in period. Once you come in, you'll see that we have seating set up to accommodate pods. We ask that you limit your time in the dining hall to 30 minutes in order to allow other folks to be able to have a time to be comfortably inside the building and enjoying their meal. If you need a little more social distancing, the dining room over in Union Station will be available with a capacity for roughly 30 people. That said, as you're going to classes or moving about campus and you want to know if the dining hall is too busy, too crowded, or a, a good place to be, we're monitoring that using SinSource technology. Monitors that are above the doors at the entry point and at the exit, and they will count in everyone who's coming in and count against our occupancy here in the dining hall of 312 and 33 in Union Station. You'll be able to look online on a Dickinson website or check the monitor at the entry doors to see if we're in a green, amber, or red status for occupancy and make a decision whether dining in or using one of the grab-and-go locations is the best option for you. After you're done with your meal, you're going to collect all of your food and tray and dish items and exit the facility towards our recycling and waste compost area just outside of the dining hall near the main lobby. Here we are in the waste and compost area. As you bring your tray out, you're going to have three different categories of products that you need to do something with. One will be your metal utensils. They go into our red composting tubs. Then you have the white tubs for your beverage containers. And then the black tubs will be for bowls, plates, and food, and other waste supplies. If you don't know, if it's not a utensil, if it's not a cup, and you don't know what to do with it, it goes in the black tub. These are all located in the bus carts throughout this area. You'll just move through one way and go around the stanchions to exit the other to leave the hub.